Today we're going to take a look at the successor to one of my favorite RDAs, the OAD. This is the OAD X. It's not what came after the OAD. They had another one there, but I, I didn't end up getting it for uh, whatever reason. I just thought I'd get it later. Is and uh, I don't think it's available anymore. But this is new, new. The OAD X. Let's take a look. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, so here's the box of packaging for the O X by Odis Design, and inside you find the O X stainless steel 316 stainless steel construction with a Delrin drip tip. At the bottom, you have Odis Design. You should also get this Delrin top cap with an autumn drip tip and a bag of spares that contains many different o-rings two screws for the deck a regular gold plated a regular 510 pin and two allen wrenches one will be for the build deck and the other is to insert or remove your bottom feeding pin 22 millimeters diameter 23.4 with the included drip tip and only 18.4 without the drip tip so it's a very low profile rda i'll give you a comparison of the size with the original o eddy and this is not the standard top cap i i can't find the standard stainless steel top cap uh, but this is one of the top caps and so although it may look like it's uh, similar but it's actually much shorter profile even the the hole if you compare it side by side it's lower and the whole airflow holes are actually wider overall compared to the karma rda i think also overall it is a slightly shorter profile here's how the top cap looks like on the inside stainless steel construction drip tip comes out and goes in without any issues at all the same for the black cap with the autumn drip tip as well very nice fit Here's a look at the build deck itself. We have a lot of gold plating going on inside. The entire positive post is gold plated and you have Odis right there. And both the clamps are gold plated and both the screws are gold plated as well. You have three bottom feeding holes uh, set so that the juice will flow as evenly as possible to both sides to feed your cotton and also to this side there is room at the bottom of this post for the juice to actually flow uh, freely and saturate your cotton overall so if you compare that with the original OAD design uh, you can see that it tries to maintain what is special about the OAD the post and also the airflow which is also similar to the airflow in the Haku although the Haku came uh, much later and the clamp style in the OAD try to make it a little bigger, uh, a little better with the OAD X. There is a lot of room here for your coils, surprisingly, even with everything that's going on here. And I would say that uh, you can get pretty wide open airflow from the OAD X compared to the OAD. Just looking at it side by side, you can see the airflow is much, much larger. The clamps have been improved a lot since the original OAD, which was one of the most difficult things to manage. With this RDA, it's a fantastic RDA once you have your bill on there. But in order to put the bill in, you have to really remove the two clamps and that can get a little bit tricky. Uh, I would say that this RDA, although I love it, the OAD uh, version 1 is not something that I want to experiment with putting in different builds because it's a bit tedious. So with the new style clamp, basically you have two rods here that hold the clamp in place while you are clamping down and, and that is uh, going to help you to get better pressure on the wires itself. Plus the screws are long enough now that you don't actually have to remove the clamps. You can go up to the very very top the screw is still in place and then if you really try and you can actually manage the clamp as you see here so once you have your wire in you can put it back and screw it down but this is uh, not very easy to do either because the screw is almost already out so still the easiest way is to remove one side of the clamp when you want to put in 
your bill. The other one, you can leave it in place. Very nice machining, very nice gold plating as well. Very nice touch with the Odis uh, name or logo right there. So I first remove one of the clamps and then now I'm going to put my lead in. And whether you wind it overhand or um, underhand, it really matters for this RDA and I'll explain why. So if you did it this way, when you put it in, it's much, much easier and you actually need to tweak your coil very, very little. It just lays flat and it gets into the position of the clamps right away. Very, very easy to do. If the coil was in this direction, on the other hand, if you want to put it in this direction, then it's going to be a little bit more tricky, right? You can do it. You just need to bend, pre-bend the leads so that it can sit nice and flat and that makes it easier to clamp. Now, this clamp system is definitely way, way easier um, than the original OADI. I think that has a lot to do with this little guide right here. Just keeps the clamp from moving about. Very easy to secure your leads. Now, usually I recommend that you cut your leads beforehand and then it makes it much easier for you instead of having it stick out like this and you have to cut it. Uh, but I'm just going to show you how it works if that's how you have to do it. Put the other clamp in. It's a very brilliant design by adding these two guides or posts right here really stops the clamp uh, from moving because that was one of the most annoying things with the original OADI is to do everything while keeping the clamp in place. So the coil placement tool for this one I think is pretty accurate. If you look through the airflow you can only see the bottom part of the coil and you can see that the air is going to um, hit the entire length of the coils from both sides. And of course, you can also position it using the other guide if you prefer, and that will put the coil on this way, where the airflow hits directly, more directly towards the coil. I prefer it this way. That was pretty easy to do, but you need to make sure that you are not going to create a shot from either of these leads that you cut out. So just push it back up to the top or out of the way. If it feels flush, then you're good to go. There is a lot of room for your cotton on both sides and the juice well is pretty generous as well because remember you have all that space underneath the two poles for the juice to actually travel uh, on either direction. It's a very controlled squonking system on this because you have the holes on three sides and I've seen other RDAs like that that have holes on two sides uh, to the both sides where you, your wicks will end up being. And that creates a lot of, uh, it, it makes it a very high pressure squonking because the holes eventually get covered by the cotton and you really have to press really hard. Uh, having the third hole, I think, just makes that pressure a little bit better. So it doesn't really feel like you need to press too hard on this. I'm going to push it all the way to the top. No issue here because the airflow is angled downwards, so it's not going to be easy to over squonk on this one. The flavor is no doubt. Very good with the OADI X. Um, so, some of you may already have the OADI OG original. I, I know I do, and I know it's one of my most heavily invested RDA. I have every single top cap for the uh, OADI version one um, that I purchased from odisdesign.com website, of course. So, uh, let me give you a quick comparison to the OADI. Original. 
the airflow is way more wide open. <laughs> that is my comparison, which I already said in the close-ups. So think of the OADX, the airflow, as similar to the Haku. Haku, I would say Haku Cruiser, right? Because of the deck, etc. You're going to get a very similar vape to the Haku uh, Cruiser. Uh, which is good because why would they want to come up with something that vapes exactly like the OG OADX and just update the clamps? Doesn't make any sense. So this one overall is shorter profile, it's got more airflow and it's really set up for flavor. Now, the one thing most of you may pick up right away is the design of it. It looks, uh, I, you may like it or you may hate it, the design. But there are pros and cons to the design as well. Because of the, the way it is, uh, it reduces the heat. It doesn't mean that it will not get hot, right? I just have to clarify that it will, okay? If you have a, a, a big, large, juicy coil in there with a the stainless steel cap, eventually it will get hot. The design, according to Odis collection or Odis design, the design of four flute, four flute top cap is to reduce heat. That's what they say. And yeah, I think it works to some extent. Now, because of the design here, it actually feels a little bit more comfortable with a shorter drip tip, right? Because with a lot of RDAs with a, a flat top, if you use a really short drip tip, it's almost like you can't really get to the drip tip and you end up putting your lips all over the top cap. Now with this, it's actually pretty comfortable because of the design. Uh, bear in mind that the coil is right there. The coil is, if you take a look at the, the hole, right, the coil is right here, right here. All right, so the top cap does help in a way to make it more slammed and also to, you know, make it a little bit more comfortable when you vape on this with short drip tips. So how much does it cost? It costs 90 US dollars and you would get the stainless steel uh, top cap and also the Delrin top cap and also the O-rings. Uh, I mean the uh, drip tips, the Ultim and the black drip tip. So quick specs for you, it is 304 stainless uh, steel construction CNC machine, 18 millimeters tall and 24K plated, a gold plated, uh, positive and also bottom feeding pin. So your, your connection from the bottom feeding pin all the way to your coil uh, is gold plated and the other side, the clamp as well is gold plated. I think it makes a lot of difference. It really helps you. Oh, Eddie, I feel like it hits just a little bit harder because of all that bling. The build deck is uh, easier than the O Eddie X, uh, O Eddie OG. No doubt about it. Definitely easier. The OAD original, oh my god. Once you have a good build in there, you just don't want to remove it. Let's put it at, at that. Now, the two pins, the technical term for it is a dowel, dowel pin. And I think it does make it a little bit easier. Uh, actually, it does make it a whole lot easier to build on it while maintaining a clamp system. I know why they want to maintain a clamp system because that's the thing with the OAD. So they've taken that and make it a, a whole lot easier because with those dowel pins, you, the, the, the most difficult part is to make sure that the clamp is not moving around when you try to screw it. So you just put it into the dowel pin, hold it, clamp, no problem. There is a lot of uh, room in the OADX uh, for fitting larger coils and also um, lots of room for your juice Underneath the post, there's lots of room there for your juice. So if you don't want to use it in squonk mode, you can still use it pretty much as a regular dripper. It doesn't always squonk easily. That's another pro. The one subjective con would be for the O Addy X is is back to the looks. Uh, they have additional caps on the website. Oh, this design links will be description box below to the RDA where you can pick it up direct on the website. That's another pro, you don't have to join a group X1, etc. Just go to the website and pay right away. The caps are about 22 bucks, and I don't know exactly what is the difference between this. I'm just looking at the pictures, it looks like the caps may be a little bit shorter. And you can have a clear cap and altum cap as well, about 22 bucks each. The airflow is a pro to me. Now, when you close the airflow down, like half, right, it still vapes pretty good. smooth not turbulent at all for the price 
90 bucks and what you get that's a pro to me as well overall i would say there are definitely a whole lot more pros to the oadx than there are cons cons would be subjective you don't like the clamp system you don't like how it looks so like i said if you want to pick it up you just need to go to the odisdesign.com website where you can buy the uh, oadx and also the caps i will put the link in the description box below this one was sent to me by Brandon Bear Keller. I thank you very, very much. Okie dokie, no more smokey. <laughs> Bum 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 b